hi um welcome to this video i know the last video was a paris vlog but i just so happen to be a worldwide superstar so i'm back in paris and i just so happen to only vlog this well when i'm there because although i claim to not like it there apparently i do because i record everything that happens kind of i wish i got drew in it more it was really exciting we got to go to our first big show together it was his first show and I felt nice being able to go with him. And it was really sweet. And I enjoyed working with Acne. And it was really fun. Um, and yeah. But I also did want to say sorry if I'm a little bit sullen or like monotone. I was really tired and stressed out during this trip. But I did enjoy it overall. And I'm super happy with it. And having these vlogs up is really sweet for me. Because memories. Memory lane. I always get lip tint on my teeth. And then I make, I think it makes it look weird before we get into it this video is sponsored by native deodorant oh my god guys it would be so fun if we all just got around together and like put on deodorant why is the trend forecast for 2023 deodorant like i feel like native deodorant is like big trend big trends just get yourself a few cents and just really layer that up before you leave the house i feel like that would be really trendy and vibe you smell really bad. You need deodorant, babe. Love you. I've been a big user of Native for like three years now. And I was first introduced to them because they sell mini versions. And during Christmas time, like 2021, they had these minis for stocking stuffers. And I got one and I kept it in my purse for like a year and a half. And it was such a lifesaver. Sometimes I would run out of the house and forget to put deodorant on and be really scared of stinking. But then I had my little Native. That one was in the cucumber and mint scent, which I really like. But my favorite one is eucalyptus and mint. It just smells super fresh. And I feel like I smell like a nice adult when I wear this I have to flip that like why is it like reverse um but I also really like the lavender and rose scent this one's like a little more sweet and like oh she's a cute common girl I like this one because it's a little more pungent and I really like wearing the eucalyptus and mint to the gym because I do hot pilates and I sweat a lot because it's hot pilates and this keeps me smelling very fresh and nice also, I just love native deodorant because they use coconut oil and shea butters. They're paraben free and aluminum free, which I find really important for myself. Um, but yeah, I really love this brand. It's a brand I actually actively use. Um, this one's really dirty because it's in my gym bag and that feels really intimate to show you. So I'm going to put that away. But thank you so much to Native for sponsoring this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to use code humans or with my link to get 20% off. Yeah, that one right there. Um, when you check out because I think I think you should get deodorant. Enjoy the vlog. This is the first time I'm starting a video actually at the beginning wait i need to look at my hair because it looks crazy i'm about to leave this little guy because we are going to paris for like four days for some work and we just did podcasts and it actually took forever it took like four tries to get it done because we kept fucking things up and our equipment kept malfunctioning and it was just us we didn't have anybody to help us like it was just me and drew this time um but i have to wash my face because the idea of getting on a flight for 10 hours in makeup or any flight in general like anybody who's willing to have makeup on on a flight is genuinely braver than most because i'm also just convinced that airports and like planes are the scariest thing ever and they kind of gross me out in a really serious way um i don't know what that rant is for anyway i have to wash my face and we literally have to get the fuck out of here because i don't want to miss this flight that would suck ass my airport fit in case everybody was wondering about to shower then we're just gonna chill i'm so brain dead i'm probably the most brain dead i've been in a long time um we ordered joe and the juice because it just so happens that our hotel's room service and restaurant is closed on mondays and it's monday 
which is just our goddamn luck, but that's okay because I still got something yummy that I know will upset my tummy. I just didn't want to like go anywhere. I just want to sit and lay and I think I need to nap for like an hour. Then we're going to go to this fitting. Um, I got here and immediately unpacked all of my things. Um, because I'm not a freak of nature. I don't just dig out of my bag while I'm on a trip because I'm not crazy. Literally, I could be somebody for, well, I could be somewhere for two days. And I'm going to unpack my bag. Like, that's gonna happen. And that's just the reality of it. Also, um, I wash my iPhone and glasses after I get off a flight because I think they carry germs. And I was so tempted to wash my hair, but I'm just gonna wash it tonight after the fitting because I want to straighten it for the show because that's just the person I am. But my hair also just looks like shit, which sucks because I hate trying on clothing when my hair isn't the way it's gonna look when I'm gonna wear the clothes. Does that make sense? I don't know if that makes sense. Also, my eyebrows are really yellow and I have to re-bleach them before the show on Wednesday because they just don't look very good but I couldn't re-bleach them because I suffered from very insane um chemical burns when I bleached them because I didn't take into account that I'm on retinoid now and that's no good that's no good for me we're on our way to the fitting <laughs> We are about to have the greatest experience ever. We are going to a cafe that serves American breakfast. And I thought to myself, that's crazy. You're in Paris, have Parisian breakfast. But then I thought to myself, why would I subject myself to that? Because to that terror. Parisian food is terrible. It's, it's, like it's, it's like we're in London. Did you know the Beatles recorded their first song right here at this place? Oh, really? Time? This is the crosswalk? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's actually really interesting. Yeah, it's honestly mid as fuck. Like, oh look, see the Beatles, the Beatles apple, the bean. I know a thing or two. But we fucked up. I know. Now we're trapped. Ugh. You're gonna get hit by a car. Sometimes I. Pray. If you got hit by a car, I here I'd be way too embarrassed. You farted. You farted on my fucking camera. Yeah. Having American dinner and breakfast. Put your hand down. And that fingers always remain where there was once a fire. I've never seen one in a tree. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen one sitting in a tree in my life. Why is he mother? He's big as hell. Or that might be father, actually. Yeah, he's serving man. My lips are probably the driest they've been in like 18 months of my life. Yeah, mine are terrible right now, too. Do you want some chapstick? Um, I have my lip mask. Nasty fucking bird. Get the fuck away from me, bitch. I'm pissing me off. Trash is gonna fucking give me COVID. <laughs> so I just got. What are you doing? So How I do just. I turn this one? Yeah. Oh, I don't turn it on. I need to do some moaning on my food. Oh, why is it filming me? Oh my god. 
Oh my god, this is so good, Drew. Wait. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my god. She's oozing. I know, I'm creaming. Oh, I meant this. Oh, sorry. Is that not the best thing you've ever eaten in your life? It's like eating sand in a good way. <laughs> yeah, I guess my one complaint is... If you wanted to eat sand, get this, and I swear it's like the best thing you'll ever eat. It it's is delicious. It's a little sandy, but it is so good. It's like just butter. Mm -hmm. Straight it, up butter. It's like a sugar butter cookie, I think. Instead of a graham cracker. Tan of tongue challenge. Yep, you, ew. <laughs> okay, well, we went back to the hotel because Drew feels like he's dying. I'm literally dying. We just got back to the hotel to our invites and our clothes that we picked out, our fits for tomorrow. I only have like three minutes on this camera left, but I wanted to unbox our invites together on camera. So they better be good, Acne, and if they are really anticlimactic, I'm gonna be pissed. This shit's getting cut. You're done. Getting cut from the video. Alright. Our names. Oh, wait. I feel so special. There's something in here. <gasps> it's a candle! Oh. Oh, God. this is the best day of my life. This is that we almost just bought some nice candles. Yeah, I was looking at candles. And I wonder if both shop. of them are pink. This is gorgeous. I'm very happy and satisfied. I will be using this for something. Blowing my nose. I will be j j ejaculating into that. A useful invite. Here's a good look at the candle. Very sweet. Very nice. Oh, I'm like tempted to burn it now, but I'm gonna save it for back home. I'm gonna go get food. Um, I had a few drinks last night. I'm not necessarily hungover, but I definitely feel dehydrated because when I'm here, I don't drink water. I'm like convinced they make water like a scavenge hunt here. At least it is for me. And the tap water in this hotel is freaking me out. The tap water anywhere freaks me out. Like I, I know I'll die from a brain eating amoeba in my lifetime. I washed my hair last night. Do you see all that dust? Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. I washed my hair last night, so I didn't do anything to it, and I had to re-wet it this morning because I'm getting it done later, and I don't want to like add product and heat to it if it's going to be messed with. Oh my god, I got the camera dusty. Super, super American core. American core bike. I'm having an extreme struggle because I want food so bad and I need food before I have any of my coffee but I think this bread is for what I ordered and I don't think I should just be having the bread alone there's not like butter it's just pepper and salt so I'm just looking at it this is like actually the most lit thing I've ever seen. I just ate so much food. Um, I devoured the soup. I killed the eggs and salmon. And then I chugged my coffee. I chugged a bunch of water. Because I think I need to take a nap before the show tonight. Also, I'm in the bathroom. It's like a really big bathroom. Like. After this, I'm gonna run to a vintage store that I've wanted to go to since the first time I came here. And I've just never gotten a chance to go. And now it's open and it's open. If anybody who's watching the past two minutes is like, where is Drew? I know you're here with Drew. I stayed in bed for the last two hours. <laughs> and I went to bed really late last night and then woke up late. I just didn't feel like leaving today because we got a big day tonight. And I'm mentally preparing for that, trying not to see anybody. Um, yeah. So I don't waste any of my social battery before I go out. I got you something. 
Well, I got like a something technically. Here. Yeah, that's okay. awesome. So, I got you your scissors. Thank they they you. had smaller ones, but they're like the other smaller ones are technically for like your toenails. Thank you. Here is the fun stuff. So, I got four of these. We could choose from them. We're gonna have to like do a battle of them. And they're kind of all the same color combos because these were the colors that I liked, but they didn't have the color that you and me really like. Uh, okay. Okay. So. <gasps> oh, yes. So these are like, <laughs> this is the worst. Like this is the wackest thing ever. This it's a is show. so boring. It's so boring but it's to most, but this is everything. Like, I just like that the yellow one, handles. This one is amazing. Yeah, I had a feeling you would really like this one. Mm -hmm. I like the all pink one. I think it's just like cutesy girly. Classic. And then I don't know between these two. I'll do this one. Yeah, because so yeah, because yellow. I have the pink. So yeah, that's what I was thinking. It was and the play purple out. and blue. Because that royal blue is like really nice. I well, this I was, was my main one that I wanted. Was I knew yellow. it. I literally almost didn't get this one. They also had a. Um, um, a green and pink one, but it felt too like kid shampoo like mm, colors. Like summery. Me, when I get a gift and I have to act like I really care about it like that, I'm like, wow, the, the ingredients in this are like. Wow. <laughs> this is, I've been eating this. <laughs> no, this is actually so fire, unironically. But yeah, and I almost got you some toothpaste because Drew was like, oh, I'm gonna collect toothpaste from different places. And I almost got him toothpaste, but I think Marvin's is a really popular yeah. toothpaste here, and that's the only toothpaste that's like. But it, I, my I lips are so dry. I use the fuck out of it. This Vitri brand is a scam. Like something. Yeah, something crazy. seriously scary and like something very evil is happening with that brand. Yeah. Like they are doing something, they are like laundering money. Like these scissors, they're getting out of the dump. Like, <laughs> Yeah, I can the see. McDonald's here is so good and so natural tasting and it's so yummy, but it is so sleepy i don't know how to explain it like it makes me so tired like i immediately just start digesting and i want to knock out every meal makes me tired i know it's so bad Something i will is say seriously wrong i will me. say my meal made me so sleepy oh you know what i realized if you're in paris go to rose bakery because it's good but two it's the bakery that's in the Dover Street Market. Uh, Rose Bakery. Because she handed me the menu, and I was like, oh my god, this is the Dover Street Market like menu. Yeah. Um, it was very, very Jones on Thursday, and they had the carrot cake. Did the famous have, Dover Street carrot cake. Did they have, um, like, cafeteria-style food? Um, yeah, they did, actually. That's awesome. Um, now I'm going to have to edit that out, but, or, like... I have to explain. When you were doing that, I was like looking at the camera. And I was like, he's gonna say some stupid shit because I thought you were gonna be like, did they have your mom's fucking pussy? Mm -hmm. um, okay, I'm gonna shower and then lather myself in lotion and then sleep until probably fucking four. I got a hot latte to drink while I got ready, and I don't know why I did that because it's gonna be cold. You crazy girl. Birthday is on Sunday. So I like, and they're having this big ass party on it. I got my makeup done Pinky. and I filmed none of it because I was too nervous, but shout out to Sophia and I think Matt. I'm really bad with names and I kind of forgot, but I loved both of you. And if I said your name wrong, I will correct it. I remember Sophia because that's the name of my sister. Pretty. We're on the way to the show now. Here's Drew. Oh, the little guy. Hey, little guy. My first acne event. My first show, I double layered my socks, so I got wool socks, really thick wool socks, and just regular white socks on the outside, because I forgot to pick out thick socks from acne, so shout out Uniqlo. <laughs> I had to double layer socks, because you can barely see, but these boots don't fit. We're Push a run or model <laughs> off the runway. I was like, let me walk. 